and to remove the label out of fairness and equality. Uh, again, this is not a judgment on whether or not it was correct, or I'm sorry, this is not a statement of whether or not what this, this person said is true or not. My commentary or images that have been altered, changed their meaning or their context could get a label. And false content presented as true, or content found true. five i've got two more weeks of hard training and then another week to just sort of tune everything up and then it's competition it's go time all right at this point in the programming i'm doing uh, a lot of deficit pulls and i'm doing a lot of uh, constant tension sets which means i won't set the weights down completely and reset after each pull i'll uh, maintain uh, tightness and tension on the bar. So basically, I'm just going to touch it to the ground and pull my next rep. Uh, this makes the sets a lot more difficult. So even though I am setting the weight down and you hear the weights hit the floor, I'm keeping all the slack pulled out of the bar. So basically, I'm all tight and ready to pull for my next one. So I just, I never, uh, I never relax and reset like I normally would in between each rep. Standing on a couple of 35 pound plates, they're not quite two inches thick. They're the thicker of the plates that I have, uh, a little over an inch off the ground. It just creates enough of a deficit that it increases. It, it makes it, look, it helps with uh, pulling off the floor if that's your sticking point. If you're breaking the floor, these are great for that. So this set is my world, uh, last working set, and it almost killed me. I did uh, 405 for 11, but what made it a lot more difficult than what I normally do is obviously I'm keeping constant tension on the bar and I'm just doing a touch and go which is just my back's loaded up the entire time. <laughs> uh, I think I made it to like about 9 or 10 before I had to sit it down and, and breathe for a second. That's definitely a PR for me. While I have pulled 405 off the floor for more than 11 reps, I've never done it with, you know, constant tension like that. I was feeling it after this one. Now I'm going to do some band work. Um, I use uh, resistance bands to make it harder up at the top, which is helpful for the lockout portion of the lift. Uh, this first set here, I'm just sort of adjusting everything, getting it all lined up. A few sets of that, and I worked my way up on this last set here. I've got my heavy uh, resistance band, and I got my reds and my blues both on there, uh, which makes it really heavy at the lockout. That's a lot of tension at the top. I eat 225 pounds on the bar plus my heavy reds and my blue bands. You know, it's not that difficult off the floor, but at the top, I mean, I'm definitely feeling it. My daughter said my face turned red. those I move into my Romanian slash stiff leg movement which is uh, basically at a deficit I'm gonna do stiff leg deadlifts same similar concept but I'm focusing more on the glutes and hamstrings uh, these are really really hard with the bands uh, at a deficit if you take those plates from under you it's not that bad but that extra 
three inches or so that it adds makes it really hard. I can do that during this phase of my training. Um, a couple weeks from now as I get closer to competition, I'm gonna have to, uh, I'll dial it back and just start focusing on the, the basic lifts themselves. Uh, these are really hard to recover from. You do a few sets like this where you keep constant tension, uh, and you know, you're really loading it up, it takes forever. It takes me a long time to recover from these, so this is not something I would want to do uh, long term. I already got the barbell set up. Already got the bands on the bar. I'm gonna finish up with four or five sets of rows. The last set, I'll take it to failure and call it a day. Right, as we get close to the competition, I'm gonna really dial back the variety of the exercises I'm doing. I'm just focusing more and more on just the main three lifts. For anybody that's been watching my videos, you'll probably notice that I've done, I've been posting a lot of bench and a lot of deadlift videos, but I haven't posted any squats. For, it's, been, it's been a few weeks since I posted a squat video. And the reason for that is that uh, my knees, uh, a few weeks ago, they swelled up and everything seems to be back to normal, but I, they're still feeling a little bit tight. Uh, when I loaded the barbell up the other day and I was trying to go below parallel, I just noticed everything felt really tight. So I decided to lay off squats for a week or so. And I, I feel like I'm ready to try them again, but I don't want to push it. Because it, if, I, if I do something stupid at this point, I won't even be able to compete. It does worry me that I don't really know where I'm at with, the, with my squats right now, but the last time I did barbell squats, I, I hit over 500 pounds, so I'm not super concerned about it. So we'll see here in a couple days. I'll give it a couple more days, and then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll test everything out and see how it feels. So far, I've been doing deadlifts with no issues, um, but deadlifts you know, are not as leg-intensive as squats are, so... You know, we'll see. You know what to do. Go outside right now, find something heavy, pick it up, put it down, repeat it a few times, you got yourself a workout.